Welcome, this is an unboxing of the first plane I've ever got this RC. It's fully polystyrene, which is a bit odd, because I don't think it will survive many crashes, but hey, who am I, I've never had one before. Um, it's all fully boxed in polystyrene as well, so uh, with tissue. Uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, there's lots of, no, not lots, there's a few bits to glue, and the most fiddly bits are the least important, being the engines which do nothing. The motors themselves just have a blob of glue on each and stick on. I was a little bit perplexed by this as I wasn't sure whether it was right, left or which way was what, so I left that to the end. Control is a bit unusual for a drone flyer as you can't turn left or right using the left stick, it's all on the right. Um, yeah, it takes three AAA batteries, no AA batteries, sorry, um, as you can see here. Um, that magic of uh, editing. Uh, there's a couple of shoulder buttons. Uh, it does say in the instructions, but I can't quite remember what they do. Um, it all comes in bits, so it does take a bit of gluing together. On the subject of gluing, um, I was a little bit, how can I say, uh, overwhelmed by the amount of glue that will melt polystyrene, so do be careful. I opted for hard as nails, um, which came in a small tube for small jobs, as you'll see in a bit. The battery was kind of fixed in there, I don't think it'll ever be removed. Uh, the tail is one of the easiest bits to do, it's the engines that actually don't do anything or command anything that are just for show that really do take all the work. Um, what else can I say? Uh, yeah, polystyrene, very flimsy feeling wings and tail. Um, quite a weight to the front end of the body though. Easy enough to put together, didn't take long. Um, other than cheap glue, three AAA batteries as I say, it was 25 quid off Banggood, including the delivery, which seemed to take ages to dispatch, but arrived within about four days of the dispatch date, which was a bit strange. So it's all out of the box, there's the motors, um, there's a red plug for one and a white plug for another, which plugs straight into the circuit board and the electronics, which you'll see here, um, and then the wheels and stuff and the cosmetic engine parts come in a separate pack. Uh, the wheels don't look terrific, they're a bit wiry and spindly but um, yeah another weird fact was tissue papers in the instruction manual. Um, it's not great English to your dip but you do need a magnifying glass so with my old eyes I did anyway. I had to keep zooming my phone in on the pictures and words. Um, but hey maybe that's just me. It's quite comprehensive, quite full in terms of what it shows you. It keeps going on about not gluing the inside of the plane. To be honest, I still haven't had you sour tape towards the end, just to make sure I don't mess anything up. Um, all in all, can't wait to fly it. Um, it's all stuck together now, as you'll see. Um, a technical description here and uh, how to use the controller. It has trims apparently. Not seen any lights on it other than the one underneath to show it bound. Um, yeah. It's an adequate control as far as I can see, as I say, I've not flown it yet. Let's see uh, what's on the next page of this right limiting read. Um, oh yeah, I just have to charge the battery. It's single cell. Um, I didn't have to look at the rating. I didn't think you need to get out of the plane, as I say. Um, that's the control of the, the receiver board, sorry, that sellotaped in rather than actually glued in. Um, may need some of those hints and tips later. Be there. An amateur drone flyer as such, or a toy drone flyer mainly. And this is what it should look like if you were uh, to stick it all together properly. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for a flight. There's the fail, the troubleshooting question, so you don't swear too much. There are a few things that are handy in there. And this page really wasn't worth the effort of turning, I think it was just a spec chart or something on the second to last page. Yeah, anyway. Again, moving on, I wasn't sure which was left and right in terms of when I stuck the wings on. The wings themselves said they were the easiest part to start with, so I started to put the actual uh, jets together, as I say, the cosmetic bits. Those plastic bits baffled me for, I don't know what that's for at all. The plastic white square bits are actually to hold the wheels on. Um, as I said about the glue, something that doesn't melt Paul's diamond is probably better. Um, there's one engine that I prepared earlier, Blue Peter style. 
you can see the front on it, um, and the back on it, and then the other one for demonstration purposes of what it looks like before you stick it all together. As I'm both done, both wings ready to be glued together and onto the fuse large. Ooh, look at me using the glue. Yes, onto the body. Again, I haven't stuck the motors on because I wasn't sure. I've seen, um, I think it's quad quads, 101 is prep. They've put the wrong ones on the wrong one, so. Here it is charging now. Um, quite confusing because it seemed to be fully charged and then not, so I've, I've charged it again. Um, to bind, you just switch the controller on and the airplane just needs plugging in. Um, the lights immediately come on underneath and uh, there's the spindly wheels. Ooh. And as I say, all the solid tape I cheated with just in case I needed to pull it apart. Um, great model build, eh? A quick heads up, the glue dried and bits have started falling off it already. Bugger. And the right motor keeps popping out every time I seal it. I will try and fly it soon. See ya, bye!